And I'm trying something new today. I am on something called Mobcam, I think it's called. So I'm live streaming on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. And I can watch conversations from both locations. So how are you doing guys? This is, I'm still on Vlogoween. There's nobody out there yet. That's okay, I'll give it some time. I see somebody made a comment. It says, hello, I can't see who it is. Um, it's really, really small. So that might be a problem. So this is my first time trying this out. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope, and if you can tell me if you're watching from YouTube or Facebook. Um, sorry I didn't live stream. I missed one day of, of, um, of Vlogtoberfest. And when it was Sunday night, hi Lizzie, I saw Lizzie. How you doing, sweetie? This is a new, uh, I'm doing mob, mob cam. Hi, Vintage. So you're doing YouTube, okay, cool. So I'm live streaming on YouTube and Facebook at the same time because I wanna reach a bigger audience. So anyway, so, hey, how you doing, patchouli? Um, so, sorry I didn't get to, hi, Spooky Bev. I didn't get to uh, live stream Sunday night. Life got really, really, really busy. I wanted to do some, um, what do you call it? Oh God, I can't think of things. I wanted to do some um, tombstones with some styrofoam that I got for free, but life got complicated. My son came down to visit and life got complicated. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. And some friends came over. I mean, some of his friends came over and then a friend of mine came over and then just stuff, just stuff. So I'm glad you guys got to see um, Midnight Margaritas. I posted that yesterday. So that was our practical magic. And thank you all for your kind, lovely words to my friend Mia. She's really happy because she was kind of nervous. She's like, I've never done anything like this before. I never, I was like, you're an actress. You should be able to do anything and everything. So don't, don't worry about it. Just like go with the flow. And she was fun and stuff like that. So it was great. So. This is a crazy, crazy, incredibly crazy, 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 intense week for me. So today is what? What's today, Tuesday? Tuesday, so today's Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what day it is because I have so much on my plate. So I, at work, have a very huge grant that's due Friday. And we're pretty much developing the program that goes along with the grant and it's just, it's, a, it's such a headache. And I'm terrified because I cannot, I don't want to stay late tomorrow because tomorrow is the premiere of the horror film that I'm in. And our Last Days Together is premiering at the Silver Spot Cinema tomorrow night at seven o'clock. And I'm just dreading the fact that I might have to work late, number one. Number two, Thursday night is the spooky speakeasy at Deering that you guys have heard me talk so much about. And that's what I'm gonna to do today because, um, and that's another one that I've, made a, uh, you know, I've made a commitment to volunteer and I've recruited volunteers. So I'm in charge of all those volunteers that are going to be there. Thank you. Um, congratulations on, on the movie or <laughs> on this huge grant that I got to finish before anything, before I can enjoy anything. I'm, I'm like having nightmares and stuff. And, um, so tonight what we're doing is I need a head thing for the spooky speakeasy. So it's a 1920s thing. And I wanted to share with you the outfit that I'm gonna wear. Oh, the movie, thank you. It's a short film, but it's it's still, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. So let me just show you the outfit that I'm going to wear um, for the spooky speakeasy. Now you have to imagine me, I'm gonna be like a type of Mae West kind of character. I'm the hostess with the mostest. And I'm just playing with it now. I've been inspired. I look a bit tired tonight, you're not kidding. Not kidding. I wake up every morning at like five in the morning to get things ready, to get to work. And then at work, I'm super stressed out all the time. It's not easy, but it's worth it for the job, for the work that I do and the people that I help to support. So let me show you the outfit. Working too hard, I know. So here's the outfit. And sorry for the garbage can in the background there. Sorry about that. So this is, this is the outfit. It's a long evening dress. I'm gonna put the camera there. So you can imagine me wearing it. Dun, 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 dun. And let me like, look, there you go. Oh, thank you, Vintage Spider. See, it's a very long dress. And that is a beautiful like little split right here. So it's a very sexy 
And as you can see, it's all embroidered in beads and sequins and what have you. Now this, isn't this an amazing dress? Now this, in the back, has a train that attaches to it. A black, um, how can I say it? A black train. And it's like made out of tulle. So it's like this gauzy material that's gonna be like two or three feet behind me. I, I think this was a black wedding dress. Now, I'm a size 16. As you can see, I'm not that thin. Do, 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 do. This was a size 22. The sleeves were double the size. So I had to take in the sleeves, I had to take in the waist, I had to take in the back, and it was really, really difficult. But it was worth it. If I tell you how much I paid for this dress and the train, together with this dress, which the train I found the following week. Because if I turn this around, you'll see how it has little things to attach the train. You see these little dot things? I found this at Goodwill. Oh no, now my stand's gonna fall. Hold on. What happened? Oh, I hate this little stand. I need a real mannequin. Santa Claus is gonna bring me a real mannequin. I found this at Goodwill. And as you can see, the, the boobs are, were huge on this woman. So I have to like stuff to like fit the dress. I couldn't take the thing off. It was just so well done. I, I, I didn't want to tear it apart. So the dress was marked, it was $10. But wait, it was, right? It was like Mort Morticia's dress, very elegant. It was marked down because it was like 50% off for the color. So I literally bought this floor length evening gown with a train for five dollars how about this too i think this was five dollars as well but this was just a regular dress and i think the regular dresses are five dollars incredible so <laughs> goodwill you know what i like you can see your pictures more so i'm trying this new thing and i'm glad that you guys are enjoying this i'm using this new app called mod cam it's a free app and you can stream simultaneously onto uh, mediums. So this is YouTube and hey cobwebs, how you doing? And I can actually see your comments better on this. Oh my God, that's awesome. Oh, thank you. I know all my, all the dresses that I wear for work, all the, all the clothing that you see me wear. Yay, you finally caught me live. Perfectly spooky dress, right? So, but now I need to wear like something in my hair because over here, oh, I'm gonna, I have this huge necklace that's like all rhinestones and it just goes a whole, all the way around my neck. I'm gonna have my hair up, but I need something in my hair. So, got some feathers. So let's take a look at what I got. Get the big feather out first. I got some big feathers and some little feathers. And I'm not gonna wear a feather boa, but I am gonna have that big fan that I made. I don't know if you caught that. If you saw my tutorial to make the fan, I'm gonna wear the fan. I'm not gonna wear that big headdress. That doesn't go with this. That's like, no, it doesn't match. Where's my headdress? What's oh, not here? It's on the table over there. Um, what kind of makeup with this? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do with this? I'm gonna wear like, um, like a very dark, kind of bluish purplish eyeshadow so that my eyes really pop out. I have like green blue eyes or whatever. So I want it to be spooky and then, you know, very deep red lips, but and then I'm gonna be very pale. Not that I'm already, not already pale, but very pale white, very distinctive like eyelashes and eyebrows. And then I'll, I'll shade myself with like gray. So I kind of look ghostish. Not like fiendish, but ghostish, okay? So, I got this feather. I don't know if this feather is too big. I think it's too big. It's like, I don't want it to be too, too big. And, oh, thank you. See, I don't know if I'm gonna do like back here, you know? Like, I don't even know if I should make a barrette, but I thought, you know, if I just leave it loose, it'll probably fall down. So I want to make some barrettes or some clips with some feathers. Going, hey, look who it is, how you doing? 
Hey, do you guys, this is the flip, my friends, the flip. Eileen, do you guys use ModCam? Or MobCam, MobCam. So I'm, I'm streaming. I know, I can't wait for Thursday. So the Flept, the other YouTubers that we kind of collaborated with on Saturday, she's gonna volunteer with me. Right? I don't know, look. A little flapper field. No, we're just gonna do it through YouTube. Oh no, I'm doing it with, uh, um, that looks weird. Does that look weird? <laughs> no, that does not look right, people. Um, no, yeah, I'm doing uh, YouTube and Facebook right now, going live. So that doesn't look right. So let's see, something more like, it looks funny. <laughs> Will you show any of this? Yes, 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 that's my plan. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show, if I get to the movie premiere tomorrow, I'll show you the movie premiere. And then, um, and excuse my son while he's screaming. Looks like a bat, right? What about like this? How's that? I don't know, are these feathers too big? Are they too big? Hmm, maybe they're too big. I can cut them down. I don't know, help me guys. I was seeing like this in the back, so it's not like, I don't want it to be obscuring my my view of things. Just wanted to jump in real quick, but we'll catch you soon. Love you guys. Take care. I'll see you Thursday. Yay! You like that? Okay. So that. And she's going to be a flapper too, and she looks fabulous in her dress. I found her a dress at Goodwill too. I also have these shorter feathers, but look how cute these feathers are. Yay, can't wait. We're going to be ghostesses. Ghosties. Ghostess, ghostess, hostess, ghostess. Look at these feathers. What about this? Is this more elegant? That looks better, right? And just do like, like a whole bunch of these back here with a nice barrette. You just by chance found that dress. Yes, I have that look. I have tremendous luck at Goodwill. You have no idea. So look, if I do something like that for my hair, or should I cut one of these down shorter like that? No? What should I do? So lucky, yes. I am very lucky. Hmm. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's see what I got. I got a whole bunch of doodads brick of rack and doodads so first i have this clip it looked good okay i like the bigger feathers swept over the side like you had it okay so let me put the little feathers over here but like let's do it like shorter so i'm gonna have to cut them like that like that yeah maybe like that so i'll just have to shorten them a little Okay, so I'm gonna shorten them a little. Where's my clip? I had a clip. I have clips, I have barrettes. You know what, I'm gonna paint the barrettes real quick. Oh, by the way, so I don't know if you got to see me do the, look, this is the finished product. I found the little letters that I had. Put this over here, and there's the harvest. There's the pumpkin fall harvest with the Christmas truck, but I put pumpkins in it, so it's, it's, it's good, it's good, guys. I haven't done any Christmas stuff yet. The way you had it. All right. Well, I'm going to take these barrettes and I'm going to paint them, paint one of them at least black, just in case. Even though I might not need to do that because I have fabric and stuff here. But just in case, let's just paint it black. And while it's drying, we'll figure out what I'm doing with this other stuff. Real quick. I'm just painting them real quick. And I have spooky music in the background. Like spooky bath. Sign looks good, thank you. Yeah, I was impressed. It came out better than I, see, I don't test anything. I don't try things out and just do them. And let's hope for the best. So, all right. So let's get started. Let's look at the stuff I have. I have this. So I thought this would be cool. 
All right, I'm gonna wear like one big, a big chunky bracelet and a big ring. I'm just gonna, and I have, look, I already painted my nails red. Hopefully I won't get any paint on them. So I'll get this and like, see like that. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut this down right there. And I can use the other feather. There we go. I just gotta get started. I'm, I'm usually so afraid to do these things because I'm like, what if I mess up? What if I do this? And I'll, I've wasted that money. Now what's cool is that this I got off of a dress that I got from Goodwill. <laughs> and what platform do you use again? This is called Mob Cam. So let's see if this works. It looks like I look clearer than I do when I'm usually on YouTube. Now see, this was sewn into a dress. Oh, okay. You can't go live? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not nice. Try mob cam. It's real quick and it's free. So you see this has these little things on the back so you can sew them in to a dress. It was on the shoulder of a dress and it just looked, it kind of looked tacky. But this will be perfect to hold these feathers. So I can test it out before I glue it down. There you go. Look. I like that. Oh, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. I'm gonna make this one a little shorter too. All right. So, put this one in the front because it's a little shorter. Look at that. Look at that. That already looks better. The quality looks better. You good. Could you slide a pin through the hoops like an old cloak fastener? Um, like going across, like down and up. Yeah, because they go down and up, but not across. But look, ha ha, look at that. It's starting to come together. And I like these fluffy ones. And you know what? I have enough to make put some smaller ones down here, but it's got it got it's like pretty thick. So I might have to glue these other ones, but it just gives a little more depth, you see? Oh, look at that. This is so cool. You know what, let me put this one. Let's see. Put it there. There we go. Did they tell you what they wanted you all to wear? No, the only thing they said was that this is gonna be something in the 1920s and you know, flapper style, all the other guests are coming flapper style. But I'm like, but hey, wait a second. If we're the hosts, we gotta go all out. So this young woman from the flap, Eileen, I have this, she has this beautiful, I, I got this dress and it's a beautiful taupe, natural colored dress, but and then it has all this beading and stuff and like browns and oh, it's gorgeous, brown and gold and oh, like bronzy colors, absolutely beautiful. And then I got her, um, this huge headdress to wear here. I have another girl. Yes, th that's what I thought. This is Art Deco, exactly. And then one of the girls I have, she's gonna be dressing up like um, the librarian from The Mummy because they need somebody to be a paranormal expert because there is gonna be paranormal investigation there, which is scary. I don't know, it still scares me a little bit. So you know what, I'm gonna glue this to this pin thing because it's too big to fit in the hole, but it'll, it'll close up the little gap here. You see that? There you go. I like this. I like how this is coming together. Now I'm not so scared. So now this one can come in there too, like that. So, and this will be in the back of my head. Not, I can wear it on the side, but see how it's, it obstructs my view? So if I put this in the back, let me, let me glue this other piece. Actually, it was, I thought, oh, the, the taller the better, but actually I think the fact that I shortened them made it look nicer. So let me try to get this one in there. There we go. And then this will go back here. That look wonky or go over here. 
I like it. I'm gonna put, let me see if I can, does that look better if I put the feathers like that going one way? I don't know. All right, it's getting there, it's getting there. I like it. Yeah, I think I do, I like that. All right, now should I use these feathers at all? Let me see. Because I have a bunch of these little feathers. And they're so cute with the curly cues. I've never seen feathers like this. I love that. So I'm wondering, you know what? It looks cute in the front. I like it. I like on the side feathers like that. This one doesn't want to stay, so I might have to glue this one down. It's not coming out. Let's see. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. I think right behind my ear, okay. Look, look how it looks like now. So right behind my ear like that. So it'll be like that. Okay, cool, I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. And then I'm gonna put these little curly cues in the front because they're just so pretty, I wanna use them. Perfect, okay. Thank you. See, I need you guys because I can't, I don't know how to do these things and I'm just like making it up as I go along. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue and I'm just gonna put this right towards the front just to add some dimension. And I have more rhinestones. If you, if you think I need more rhinestones, just you are in charge of this, my dears. Let's see. Layered feathers for sure. Okay, let's let's show you what I'm doing down here. Don't forget about my face. Forget my face. See, and I had the leftover fan because I didn't know if I was gonna use that, but I think it's coming, it's coming together. I think less is more. But in my case, more is more, so. I got feathers all over the place. So yeah, if I build this up with these little feathers, it's a nice little contrast against those big feathers. Ooh, it's pretty. There you go, that one went in finally. How's it looking? The layered feathers for sure. Okay. And I have another dress that another young lady is gonna wear, which I had also found in Goodwill, but I'm talking about like over 13 years ago. And that dress is absolutely spectacular as well. It's a black velvet um there you go how's that look see the layered feathers you see the little curly cue feathers there in the light i have to glue this one down so it doesn't move this one keeps moving Dun -dun 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 -dun. this music is so ominous so Halloween-y. So you guys getting happy? We got, what, two weeks left until Halloween? I just, you know, for me, the 31st is a lot of deadlines. There we go. How does that look? Now, do I need more embellishments? Look, do I need more? I got that. I can add more. I like the way they're, like, going on this side. Oops, I lost that one. I'm gonna keep adding, you know, I don't know when to stop. I keep adding and adding. 
Uh, I'm excited. You're excited? Yeah, of course. Do you know what? You, do you guys know what you're gonna be for Halloween? I am tempted to show up at work dressed like Winifred Sanderson. I think people will have a hoot out of seeing me dressed up like Winifred Sanderson, and they know I'm crazy enough to do that. So many things going on. And I have a company picnic next week. Not next week, the week after. I'm gonna put one more of these feathers. Mummy! Oh, I like that. Are you my mummy? These feathers are beautiful. These feathers I got, I think, on Amazon. I think it was like $3 for a pack of seven. I thought it was a little pricey, but I thought, you know, it's better to have than have not. And I really haven't spent a lot of money on Halloween at all, believe it or not. I actually am very angry. You look great as Winifred. Ah, thank you, Vintage Spider. This is, look at this, it's so pretty. There we go. Almost looks nice to wear on a shirt. Look at that. I'm gonna put one, one of these long curly Q ones right here. Just to like balance out the difference. It's like there's a big hole there and I don't like that big gaping hole. And you know what's amazing? Wait, I have a tuxedo jacket covered in patches, bones. Oh, how cute! I like that idea, Cobweb. I've seen some of your videos. Your videos are amazing, Mr. Cobweb. Has anybody gone to your channel from this channel? I hope so, because he has a very interesting channel. He makes a lot of his own Halloween props, and that's pretty dang cool. Anybody who could do that, I'm very impressed with. Hmm. It's getting there. It's getting there. I love these feathers. I need to get a good camera. Why, honey? I'm using a phone. I am using a phone. All right, now, where's my barrette? Do I need any more embellishments? Like, I have I have rhinestones. I am, like, I am all about the bling. Uh, hold on. Uh, come and see me. We're 27 minutes. So I have lots of bling. I can make lots of stuff. I have this. But I have, up here, I have this. So I was gonna use this. I wonder if that's strong enough. This is all I have. I was gonna go to the store, but I didn't have time. I got out of work so late today. So if I were to put this here, do you think that would be enough to hold it? Do I have to wire it down? Do you guys have any idea what I'm doing? I love when people work with their hands. Mass produce. Yeah, I know, me too, cobweb. I love working with my hands. I love my little alien hands. Somebody said I look like that little thing that a little alien goes. <laughs> I entertain myself all the time. <laughs> all right, so let's see if I can somehow get this. I don't want to show, I don't want the pin to show. Let's see if I do it up here. All right, I'm going to put the pin. You do great. You're always making something. I know, right? Uh, and this is, imagine if I had more time. I don't have any time. By the time I get home, I am so tired. I barely have any time to make anything. So, um, actually, let me use this because I want to put glue, but I don't want it to glue the second, the back part. I wish I had some wax paper. Actually, this, this might work because it's plasticky. Oh, I painted these for nothing. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Okay, I just don't want it to glue both sides. So there. All right, ready? Here we go. Let 
Let's see if this will hold it. If not, I'm going to have to like sew it or get a wire. But I think it'll hold it. It's not that heavy. Even the rhinestone part is not very heavy. All right. I restore classic cars full time. Oh, love the original ideas. That's why I like you guys. I make my own stuff too. I don't want what everyone else has. I know, me too. It's like, you know, everybody was doing farmhouse and I was like, I don't want to do farmhouse. My house isn't farmhousey at all. So, but that's amazing. You restore classic cars full time. Wow, that is so cool. See, what I do here and what I do at work all day is completely different. So my background is in finance and I'm a grant writer. Amen, Patchouli. Yes, ma'am. Amen. So let's see. Let's see if this works. You sure I don't need any more bling? Do I need more bling? I have lots of bling. I might wear this as a bracelet. I buy things when they're on sale. Like I think I bought this for a dollar or something. Look how pretty that is. I think that'll match my dress. But I already have my all my stuff already picked out. So let's see, I'm gonna take this plastic off. Hopefully I didn't glue this to the other part. Kinda did. There we go. Now, ow. All right, ready? Let's, let's, let's look at that. Because this is resistance. Now I'm gonna make my hair, I'm gonna make my hair like wavy over here on the side. So I can clip it on this side. Oh, look, it holds, perfect. Doesn't move at all. I don't like, why does it open up like that? Why does it open up like that? I love when people ask where you got something and you say, I built it, right? I know, I love that too. That's why I like going to the thrift stores as well. Let me move this one over here. Cause I don't like that it's like so far from the other one that it makes like this big gap in the middle. All right, let's move here. What is it, what is it stuck with? Okay. There we go. There, that's better. I love this fluffy stuff. So I can use it on both sides if I wanted to. See why, why does it do that? Does that thing? Separate, why does it keep separating? I want this over here, or this over here. <sighs> Do I move something? I don't know, look, does that look weird to you? It's like, whoa, <laughs> Martha <Ra! laughs> Look at it, why does it do that? Why? <laughs> I always hoard belts from the thrift stuff. Oh my gosh, if you hoard belts, make yourself Edward Scissorhands. Does this look awkward with the thing in the middle? It's driving me nuts. It looks like a butterfly or like Mothra or something. What do I do? Like I want this over here and it won't stay even though I glued it down. Or this one over here. Just kind of twist it until it goes there. There we go. I don't know, it still does that separating. Oh well, you know. The best I could do, let me put, maybe if I put more feathers here, let me, let me fill the gap. Let me fill the gap. More feathers. Ow. As a matter of time, if I burnt myself, you could heat gun it lightly. I'll shrink down again. Shrink down? What, the feathers? I don't know if I want it to shrink down. I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make like a big old thing like decor thing here in the middle so there's not like this huge gap with this one thing in the middle. So this is working well this new mode of uh, of uh, streaming. I'm seeing you guys better. There now it looks better. Look now it looks better. This one's a little loose. Why is this loose? I need to put something here to support it. That's why it looks loose. So let's put some fabric. And that's why I keep everything like a little hoarder. There we go. There 
There we go. Aha! Now it looks better. Look, now it looks better. I think if I add one more feather here, so I, I'll use all the feathers. There you go. One more feather there. It is a huge, you know, I'm a big lady. So I can wear big things. I can wear big earrings. What is a quick last minute costume to do? Ooh, Lizzie. Oh, well, it all depends. I mean, you could be a gypsy. It's very fast last minute costume. A bomb. Um, what else is a, a clown? There, that looks good. You always pull through and make it look awesome. Thank you. See, look. Ah, now it's not so awkward looking. There. There. There, that looks better. Hmm. Yeah, that does look better. It looks much, 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 much better. Let me put this one down a little more. There we go. There we go. That looks way better. And you can see the little curly cues and you can, this is big. Wow. This is big. Ooh, there you go. Dun, 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 dun. Looks good. Um, what else can you do last minute? Quick last minute. Um, if you have, no, I didn't fix the splatter guard pumpkins yet. I haven't done it. Go big, right? Go big or go home. Um, another, like, I'm trying to think of last minute costumes. Cowboy. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what else. Ghost. Because you can take any kind of clothes and make yourself look like a ghost. Um, you can look like a zombie. That's quick last minute because you just take, oh, I see, I like it in the back like that. I like that. It won't be in my way. I have that one feather that goes up and down. Look at that. Dink, 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 dink. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. And <laughs> but it looks cute. And it'll look cute from, the, from behind and stuff like that. That way, if my hair is crappy in the back and I still have to dye my hair, I have all these white hair here. So I have to do my hair now. Um, yes, in the back, right? It looks more legit. Um, I'm trying to think what else is... Um, a, lot, a good last minute costume. Um, a bomb, a witch, a witch. If you dress all in, in black, if you dress all in white and you find an apron, you can go as Flo from Progressive. I did that one one year because I do look a little like her. I have green eyes and the, you know, I put the hair that way. It was great. It was great. That was the easiest costume, the most comfortable costume I ever wore. I was in sneakers. And it was hilarious because I took the train to work and it happened to be, there was a bunch of progressive employees in the train and they were like, come to our office, come to our office. Yeah, Flo is cool. She was cool. Um, I'm trying to think of like fast, easy costumes that I've done in the past. That was a good save and you didn't see it. Um, uh, you can go as, what can you go as? Serial killer. Uh, Flo is a good one. It's a cute one and it's comfortable. Ah, Flo from the diner. I, I, not a lot of kids know about Flo from the diner. Um, I'm trying to think what else. What else is good? Um, geez, I can't think of anything. Um, guys, any, any ideas of what you can dress up as that's fast and quick and easy? Uh, I like the ghost idea because you just can wear anything and just make your face look like a ghost. Jeez, uh, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of like fast costumes that I've made in the past for my kids. Uh, oh, my son went as a doctor and I just had a lab coat that I got. A cat. A cat is good. That's fun. Um, and that's easy because you can get the cat ears. You can make the ear, your cat ears. I made, I've made i made cat ears before. You just get some of that EVA foam and you can make your own cat ears. My my motto, if you, if you can't find it or if you can make it cheaper, make it yourself. Um, you can go as, what? What else can you go as? If you get those black feathers and you wear all black, you can go as a raven. If you get those black, you know, feather boas that they sell at the Dollar Tree. And you know, you can make, you know, some kind of like headdress or something like, like this. I can go as a raven or something. Caw -caw. <laughs> and I've always wanted to dress. I don't know if anybody watched Shits Creek, but I'm dying to dress up like Moira. <laughs> like Catherine O'Hara's character. She cracks me up. 
Um, what else can you dress up at, at the last minute? Um, if you go to the, if you go to Goodwill, they always have evening dresses like mine, and I you can get them for five or ten dollars. You can go as a prom queen, and if you want to go really extreme, you can go as Carrie. Just get a like pink nightgown and then just pour like fake blood on your head. But make sure what I would use is like conditioner or something. Like don't use actual fake blood because that'll be impossible to get it out, out of your head. But if you use something like a conditioner that's like red, a clear conditioner, butterfly using wire hanger wings. Yeah, that's a great idea. I love it. Carrie, I, I've always wanted to dress up like Carrie. Um, the other person I would love to dress up as, if you haven't seen, um, and I'm going to do a skit on it, God willing, um, is, have you ever watched Grey Gardens? Did you find your crown for your costume? Which crown for which costume? What crown? Oh, I'm going to make my crown. Oh, for the, if I, if I decide to become the Red Queen from the, from Alice in Wonderland, I'm going to make my own crown. I'm gonna make my own crown. It was I was looking around, I was like, I can make this for two dollars. It's easy and cheap. Red Queen, yes, Red Queen. Would you like to see my jacket for the Red Queen? I'll I'll wear it to, uh, the other day. Drew Barrymore and Drew Barrymore. And what are you talking about? Cobwebs. What are you talking about? Drew Barrymore. Oh uh Santa Clarita's diet. So on maybe Saturday, I'll wear the Red Queen jacket. I'm not going to run. Oh, or maybe Friday night. I'll wear it for Friday night so you can see it. And I'll make the crown while I'm wearing the Grey Gardens. Yes. Um, and Jessica Lange. So if you've watched Grey Gardens, the original, I always wanted to dress up like little Edie because she has like a scarf on her head and she's got the turtle neck and she's got a sweater around her waist. It's like, what? I think that's like the coolest idea for for uh, for a costume. The, oh, you know what's a good idea? What, Lizzie, if you have a nice suit, like a nice light colored suit that you don't want, or if you go to Goodwill and you find a nice suit that fits you well, just a nice light colored, like green or gray suit, and go to the dollar store and get a, a bunch of those crows or birds or whatever, and just put them all over you with like some like red, and you can look like, Tipper, oh gosh, what's her name? Ah, you can do the birds. You can do the birds so perfectly easy. That is so easy to do. Um, I have a black and white jacket. I've dressed up like um, Beetlejuice. I'm trying to think of things I've dressed up like. A nice white dress, right? And a plastic ax. Ooh, you can go as Lizzie Borden. Tippy Hedren. Yes, Tippy. Tippy Hedren. You can go to Judy Garland if you look like Judy Garland. Like it's cool if you can dress up like a, a, an actual like artist or, or actor if you look like them. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to think of what else you can dress up as. Oh, I'm so sorry. I love the birds too. I love anything Alfred Hitchcock pretty much. Um, man, you can dress up like Psycho, like the mom from Psycho. Just put a wig and a pajama on. You can, go as, you can go in your pajamas. You can go as, I don't know, there's so many things you can dress up as and make up with things that you have at home. Um, I'm trying to think of like easy things that you have at home that everybody has. Um, you can go as a cheerleader. You can go, you can dress up. There's so many options you can dress up as. You can take a, a yellow shirt and put the, the up and down and kind of dress like Charlie Brown if you want to dress up like Charlie Brown. Um, so many, so many ideas. One year, because I'm the kind of person, and I'm sorry I'm so tired. I'm the kind of person that will inspire like a whole department to get into the Halloween spirit. And it was, uh, we had a departmental, I was working for Acer Computers and we had a departmental competition uh, for uh, Halloween. And my boss was adamant. He was like, I'm not going to dress up. That's stupid. I'm not going to dress up. That's stupid. I'm like, okay, this is all I need you to do. I need you to wear a black suit, white shirt, black tie. That's it. He goes, what are we doing? And I said, don't worry about it. We'll take care of the rest. So I was, that was the boss. So the rest of us had, like, this was back in the time, pin a bunch of beanie babies, cats. That's a cute, crazy cat lady. That's cute. So we, um, I had a red wig and uh, you know one of those short bobs and we dressed everybody like men in black 
and the X Files, back in the '90s, obviously. But what I what we did to the entire office is that we covered all the lighting with green lighting, and we put like alien hands coming out of the files. So there was X Files. All the files had X Files, X Files. All the file cabinets had X Files. We had um, we had a dissection of a chupacabra, and that's like a very Latino thing. The, the chupacabra. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. So we had a dissect, the conference room became a dissection room. We had a couple of people dressed as doctors with the things across their heads and the strobe lights were going on and the lighting there was weird. And, you know, I had, we had put like um, jello and gummy worms and then the doctor would pull out the gummy worms and eat it and people would be grossed out. And we had a couple of people dressed as aliens. It was a lot of fun. So needless to say, my department won and everybody... Yes, the Mexican blood-sucking creature. Well, apparently, uh, Cubans believe in chupacabras, too. Pins and boxes. Yeah, serial, serial killer. Yeah, I, I've done that. My ex didn't want to dress up once, so I dressed him up as a serial killer. I've been, I'm trying to think of all the things I've dressed up as. A pirate. A gypsy. Um, a witch, obviously. Um, oh, so sorry. Um, Cleopatra. I dressed up as Cleopatra. I've dressed up as, um, what have I dressed up as? A bum. Uh, gosh, I've dressed up as so many things. And lately it's been more, you know, like, you know, Winifred Sanderson, Maleficent, the evil queen from Snow White, Snow White. Uh, <laughs> I have to do more princesses before I'm too, too old to, to be a princess. Um, the Red Queen, I'm doing that. Maybe I'm doing that this year. I'm not sure because everybody loves me as Winter, Winterford Sanderson. Uh, if I can get some two, two people at work to dress up like the sisters, then I'll do it. Well, anyway, I am really happy with this. I'm going over my time. It's probably like, what, 45 minutes? And I don't want to keep you guys any longer. But I'm so glad you enjoyed this new way of seeing me. And you can see me both on um, YouTube and Facebook at the same time. I'm going to try it on this side now. There we go. Do do do. It'll be like, like there. There we go. There you go. Love it. Dun, 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 dun. So this will be me on Thursday and I will be filming Thursday so you can see the place. And uh, yeah, I think this looks pretty well. I think it worked out. So thank you all for your help. Have a good night and thank you for putting up with me with this Vlogtober, Vlogoween uh, craziness that I'm doing. Take care, God bless, and have a great Wednesday tomorrow. And uh, hopefully I'll be at the premiere if I can finish my grants on time. Take care, guys. Bye.